Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So growing up, I loved playing strategy games, and I loved how these games, they always had some fun custom cursors. Games like Constructor, Rollercoaster Tycoon, Red Alert, all of them had really nice custom animated cursors. This is something that is pretty small, but I always think it makes the game look quite a bit more special, looks quite a bit more professional. This is something that I consider pretty essential when making my very first game, Survivor Squad. I made some fun cursors for selling the survivors, for moving, attacking, and so on. And since then, I've actually used it in several of my own Steam games. And just recently, I used it in the polish section of my dots course. So the final game has some really nice custom cursors. It's a tiny thing, but I really like it. So I originally researched this topic many years ago, and then many years after that, I turned it into a proper asset that is actually really easy to use. It's actually going to be on a flash deal on the Unity Black Friday sale, meaning don't buy it right now, wait for this super deep discount to pick it up. And if you want my DOTS course, if though, then that asset is actually included in the project files. Now in this video over here, let's see how to use it and how you can very quickly add a nice bit of polish to your game. Now of course, this is my own asset, so this is not an unbiased video. But at the same time, I obviously only made this asset because I really like it. So I'm obviously biased, but I do think this tiny thing is genuinely awesome. And by the way, like I always say, I'm a big believer in free education and this is no different. So this is indeed a paid asset, but I also cover the free tutorial on how the core of it works, how to actually change the cursor icon. So if you have no money at all, you can just go ahead and follow that tutorial. But if you have a few bucks to spare, you can save yourself a dozen of hours just by picking up this asset, which is really easy to use. So let's see how easy it is to use. We just install it through the package manager. And here it is. It comes with a nice editor window. It shows a super quick three line getting started guide. Another one for very quickly making custom cursors. And it even comes with a video tutorial. This video tutorial over here, this one includes a quick getting started guide. Then includes a guide on how to make a custom cursor. And then importantly, it has a code walkthrough. So in here, I go through the entire code. I go through the whole thing line by line and I explain how exactly this whole thing works. Here, the demo scene is super simple. Right away, we have a custom cursor. So it's a nice little small arrow. Then as I mouse over this little unit, it shows up into the unit cursor. Then go into the grab one and shows that cursor. And on that one, shows that one. So right away, we can see it working. And then down here, we can see all the various ones. So this one is none. So this goes back and shows the default cursor. Then a small one, a little bit of a bigger one, this one animated, and all the custom cursors, all of the ones that are included by default. Here is the demo script, and the way to change the cursor is literally just one line of code. Just go inside the cursor system, set the active cursor type, and just pass in a scriptable object reference. Here are all the scriptable objects, all of them for all the cursors, and again, this one also has a nice custom editor window. For example, here I have the game from my dots course. By the way, you can go watch the free 7-hour tutorial video, or you can pick up the entire full 17-hour course. It's a great course on teaching you Unity Dots and how to make an RTS game. And in the Polished Lecture, in the very last lecture, in that one I include the Mouse Cursor System Pro. So if you have the paid version of the course, then you already have the asset. Over here, I implement the nice custom cursor, so I've got the normal cursor, I can select that one, I've got a nice move cursor, and as I mouse over an enemy, yep, I also have that one. The way I set it up is quite simple. So I just made this simple mono behavior script, so the Cursor System Manager. And this one over here just basically handles all the logic for selecting the correct cursor type. And again, for setting it, it really just goes inside, just calls this one simple function. And that's it, that is going to set this as the custom cursor. So then on this script over here, on this one, I basically used a bunch of events in order to figure out what cursor type I want to play. So here on update, just defaulting it to the normal arrow. Then doing a check, checking if we have a unit move or enabled, meaning if any unit is selected. If so, then I want to show the move cursor. If not, then we check if a unit is on the mouse. So this one does a simple dots recast in order to figure out if there's a unit underneath the mouse. And if so, then it shows that cursor. And so on, just doing all the logic for selecting the current active cursor. And at the end, again, really just one line of code. Then here in the game, everything is working perfectly. So essentially the sole thing, this cursor system, this works on top of everything else. It is not coupled with anything else. The entire system is completely decoupled. That's a great thing because this is intentionally more of a polished asset. So it is something to add at the end of the project to make it that extra bit special. So it does not interfere with any of the other systems. All the other systems, I made them all previously, they all work great. And then just had the custom cursor on top and everything looks quite nice. Then for making a custom cursor, just need to right click on a folder. Let's go into create, create a new cursor type, then give it a name like bird, then open up some kind of image program. Over here, I'm using Photoshop, but you can use whatever you want. For the size, cursors are usually pretty small. So over here, I made just 32 by 32. Then just draw whatever you want, save the texture. On the texture over here under texture type, let's make sure to select cursor. Then let's also make sure to enable read write. Yep, apply. And now in our cursor, we can just sign our texture. We can modify the offset. So for this one, putting it in the middle. If there it is, we have a nice visual helper saying that's where the cursor is, meaning the actual clickable area. And now here, for example, in the main menu script, let's add a new serialized field. For type, let's go inside the code monkey, the cursor system pro namespace, and let's add the cursor type SO for our cursor type SO. And if there's the field, so now just drag the bird. Then back in the code, just one line of code. So go inside the cursor system and let's add the active cursor type onto this cursor type SO. Yep, that's it, just one line of code. 
And if right away we do see it working, there it is, we have a nice custom cursor, we have a nice little bird. And for animating, we really just need to add more elements. So if I've added two more elements, and right here in the nice preview, we can see everything actually working. And if we want, we can up the frame rate, either make it faster or slower. And if when playing, there it is, we have a nice custom animated cursor. So in just a few seconds, we can create a custom cursor and add it, and everything looks quite a bit nicer, quite a bit more interesting, as opposed to having just a default boring cursor. So yep, that's my asset, the Mouse Cursor System Pro. It's a really easy way to add a nice bit of polish to your games. Just one line of code and you have a nice custom cursor. Like I said, this one is going to be on a flash deal soon, so don't buy it right now. Wait for the deal in a few days and pick it up for 70% off. So I hope you use this to add a nice bit of extra polish to your games. If you do, then please make sure to write a review with your thoughts on it. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.